Yo people, hope you're well. So I just wanted to get to the roots of um, you know, bodybuilding into MMA and the whole story behind it. It's very much at the start of bodybuilding. You know, bodybuilding in itself, it's a great sport to, you know, to really find out about yourself and everything else, but there's a bit of a dark side to it and I feel like it, it does need addressed, especially for you know, the statistics that I've came across for, for young males. And I feel like as a young man, you try to look up to people and you try and look a certain way and because you think you're going to feel a certain way when you look like that. And, it, and it's very much not the case. And it took me on a bit of a dark path. And I just want to be really transparent as a coach because I feel like a lot of people could benefit from, from my story and my experience um, and maybe go down a different route. And if you, maybe if you did come to this point in your life, you can maybe take um, a bit of a U-turn or give it maybe a bit of a second thought. Um, and it's about performance enhancing drugs, the effects it had on my mental health and my overall physical health. Now, I just want to be really transparent here. And, you know, I please do appreciate that this is something that I have given a lot of thought. And it's something that, I, you know, I was very speaking to a few people close to me. How, you know, how do I put this out there? Look, I'm wanting to sort of help. I'm wanting to give my story. But also, I want to be very clear that, you know, this is the past. And um, that's something that I very much want to address. And it's how... A competitive edge and how you the pressures of nowadays or the pressure I put was putting on myself to look a certain way in a matter of fact actually deteriorated my mental health because I was putting all these chemicals into myself trying very much to look a certain way to win to be a certain way and it very much was just taking its toll now obviously <sighs> The best way, I'm not going to tell anyone to do something or not to do something, that's very much not what I'm about. But if you are going to do these sort of things, you know, please, 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 you've got to work with a coach, you've got to work with a coach who knows what he's doing. But also, on the back of that, you know, do your research as well. But in a, in a sense of just please hear my story first, because what happens is when you take performance and hands and drugs and you do eventually have to come off them, you know, it's getting your natural hormones back. That isn't initially the problem. Obviously, you know, there's post-cycle um, therapy there as well, PCT, that very much needs to be done. And then it's also leaving yourself worse off than when you first started. So you obviously got your high natural testosterone, you started training and everything else, that's going to be good. But then if you're taking artificial, um, artificial hormones as well then coming off them it's going to be really really hard to sort of reset yourself and I just wanted to speak about my challenge in doing that because it was it was probably the most hardest thing ever in life I've I had to come across and um, I've lived away from home various things you know everyone has the everyone has the challenges to face but man feeling like not a man Obviously not having the testosterone I was used to um, and then not having anything at all, trying to get everything back. It, you know, it did leave me in a sense of sort of uh, no man's land is what I would call it, you know, trying to get everything back up. And then when I was trying to get into the boxing, I was trying really hard to get my head focused to get everything around it. And, you know, it, having a low testosterone will also lower your immune system and everything else. So this is something that you've really got to take in consideration when you're a young lad is you've got to look at the long-term effects of what this can actually happen on you. Now, luckily I was working with a coach and had good people around me who really guided me through that whole horrible time. But on a sense of is that could have been all prevented if I done my research and was, and if I took a little bit more care and firstly thought of actually why I was doing the things I was doing rather than being so impulsive and thinking that's the way forward just by, you know, wanting to achieve a goal. Um, and you've really got to think of the long-term effects it can actually have on your body. Now, I just wanted to be really transparent with this because I won't lie, it's something that I see a lot, a lot in young lads starting out and, you know, especially the cycles they're actually doing. It's like, it's crazy, it really, really is crazy, but I've been there, I've been there, so I, I'm not judging anyone, but what I'm saying is, have a second thought, ask yourself why you're doing these things, think long-term as well, rather than the short-term effects, because if you're just doing it for the feel factor of looking good and, and not feeling good, and you're sacrificing one for the other, you know, it, the, the balance is gonna slowly go like that over time, and it does, and, 
you know, you might look great, but you're going to feel fucking terrible. And you've got to really ask yourself, what is the benefit? Because you can still look fantastic naturally. If, you, if your goal is to look good, you can look good without it. You, all you have to focus on is literally the old saying, training hard, recovery, getting your sleep in, getting your nutrition in. And as for a lad, yes, testosterone is super important. But I tell you what, nowadays we don't really discuss how we can raise that naturally. And that is something that we really need to look at. So that from the roots from MMA, from bodybuilding to MMA was for me to really find myself because when I got in here, I'd done one, I'd done one boxing session. I'd done one boxing session and decided this was it. This was everything that I was going to do. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be for you, but what I'm saying is ask yourself the question of what you really want and what is for you because I guarantee doing something like that to your health isn't, isn't good for you at the time. You might think it is, but long-term effects, that's what you need to look on. So young lads, any young lads watching this, anyone wanting to get into training, remember you don't have to go down them routes. Just look at all the, the factors that I said previously and you'll be all right. And like I say, keep head strong as well because, you know, yeah, there is obviously, people might try and sell you certain things or anything like that. I'm not saying it's like a bit of a broken promise, you know, maybe they, maybe you maybe that someone close to you or your gym partner or anything like that your friends like you know you you could be anyone like that in regards maybe your pal is doing it from school and you think that because he's doing it you want to look a certain way he's going to be six steps ahead of you but in reality, he's not, do you know what I mean? He's just cheating himself and you, you need to really know that because that's what happened to me. Um, although, you know, it was quite enjoyable bodybuilding sometimes. I had some really good experiences. I met some really good people. I'm not hating on bodybuilding. All I'm asking for people is to really ask yourself what you want. Not what anybody else wants, but what you want. And if that's your route, that's your route. All praise to you, go for it. But just ask, is it worth the long-term effects, is it worth that? And even the short-term effects, from my experience, the anxiety that I used to have with bodybuilding, the low ways I used to have with bodybuilding, and that's just me being honest. Now, this is my truth, so please don't be offended by it. Not that I'll be asked anyway, but this is my truth. So I just really wanted to be transparent with that and, and really put my story out because that is the root of the cause and, and I just wanted to be really on it with that. So, peace out.